What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, back again with another edition of History You May Not Know and Things That Not Taught in Detail for Show. Today's lesson is going to be focused on the enslavement period, and we're not going to talk about something that has happened so much in our history that we were never taught, and now we must talk about these things to never replicate them or have them happen again. Today's enslavement period, I'm focusing on the eunuching of black Americans. If you do not know what eunuch mean, it is a term to describe how we castrate males to make sure their private parts are removed and to remove the sexual desire or testicles from this human person. Black men around this time, especially during enslavement, if you wanted a period to work around the house, to work around women, white women at this time, they believed that you had to be castrated just so you could not be a threat. One of the main problems that we never discussed when we discussed the period of enslavement is that there was a fear of genetic annihilation. So around this time, they thought that black males had an ideology of being sexually deviant and having promiscuous ways. So to protect their women, they literally will eunuch them. If you do not know the history of eunuch, let's break it down. Eunuch was definitely a religious past, mostly done what you saw in the ancient Middle Eastern cultures especially when they captured enslavements or during war times. They would eunuch their warriors and to get them to listen and obey what their laws and customs were. It was a way to make high-ranking officers potentially make them civil and obedient. Once a man felt like this, he literally was not the same type of person. Most eunuchs were formed so that they could feel comfortable around their women, working with them, protecting them without the threat of some type of violence happening sexually later on. Eunuching was done primarily in a banker to make sure the slaves that pretend to cause problems make sure they did not cause them or produce children of that offspring. Most people have no idea of famous eunuchs that we see, but I'm going to name two that we probably know. George Washington Carver. Everybody refers to him as the peanut butter man, but he has so much more extensive history than that. He literally founded our commercial agriculture industry. George Washington Carver was a eunuch. If you do not think about it, think about his voice, his tone, his mannerisms, and how he never produced or had children. George Washington Carver was a eunuch done to him as an enslaved boy. They did this thing to allow Mr. Carver to be educated around this time where no one that was formerly enslaved was going to or receive proper education. Whenever a unit was happening, that was a way to let them know that a man was literally 100% obedient. It was an extremely excruciating pain. It was a horrific thing to know that you could not pass along your ancestry, but it was done so much in enslavement period in this country, we do not talk about. When a castration was done, the male did not have the testosterone, the feel, the vibrant, or the way of thought to fight back as much. It was literally a sociological, cultural, and a mental breakdown they did of this man. It was a way to humiliate them, ensure that their powers of resistance were not as strong, and they learned it from a lot of them from the Ottoman empires. Remember, most of the people that were in this country studied ways to conquer, mentally um, absorb, and hold these slave enslavements accountable. Many of these former enslavement countries found ways and sought out people to make this happen. So eunuch was something that was very common, especially in the antebellum South, to ensure the strongest slaves after they had their children were mentally and physically conquered. Remember, when this act happened, we never saw the same person again. Just look at it. Imagine you losing your power as a man and your power to reproduce. You would have a severe state of mental breakdown and how it's supposed to happen. Many issues like this in the South happen around this country, and we never talk about them. Eunuch was a practice not only in the Middle East, but very common in America, specifically in the South during antebellum slavery. If you think about the men and how they controlled them, they used this to withhold, to dismember, and to go against people that ran away, fought against, and battled against slavery. Prior to the social norm that we always hear, 
people were going against that slavery practice all around. The way that they had to prevent this practice were doing unison, by isolating, by killing the males, and letting them know they could not be touched. In the next video, we will break down how sensitivity of this topic goes on until this day. But the form of unity, we have to understand, was a very common practice in the United States, in the Ming dynasties, and in the Middle East. It was due to dehumanize their males and ensure not only mentally they were conquered, physically they were conquered. It's your boy King Crowder back again. Hopefully you learned something this week. I wanted to come at you hot with this topic because I feel like it's very sensitive, but it is very good and effective to learn. The history of Unikin is very common in the United States that we don't touch. The reason why we have this problem is because we're not open and honest and we don't discuss these horrific things that happen in our past. It is this country and I'm here to tell the story. It's your boy checking out. Until next time, peace.